T minus 60 seconds and counting. We have auto sequence start. Is, uh, on the timeline. Yeah. We copy that. Everything's in order up here. We feel great. Vehicle to internal power, separation of the first tower. Copy the that. first umbilical now separating from the rockets. Umbilical tower separation in process. Copy that. And concur. T minus 20 seconds and counting. Independent power. Ignition. Second tower separate. Turbo pumps at flight speed. We have ignition of the Soyuz. And liftoff. Liftoff as Chris Cassidy, Pavel Vinogradov, and Alexander Mazurkin are on a fast track to the International Space Station. boosters and single engine. The first stage of the Soyuz measures 68 feet in length and 24 feet in diameter. It is burning liquid fuel for the first two minutes and six seconds of flight. Combustion chamber pressure nominal. One minute into the flight. Spacecraft is nominal. We're one minute into the flight. Copy. Pitch going roll nominal. Velocity is now approaching 1,100 miles per hour. 70 seconds into the flight. Flight is proceeding nominally. One minute, 30 seconds into the flight. Everything going according to plan. 90 seconds. Stage one operating nominally. Copy, Glomny. Spacecraft is nominal. We feel great. Copy, Karate. 110 seconds. Two minutes, five seconds into the flight, the four strap-on boosters have now been jettisoned. These have completed their job and have dropped away at an altitude of 28 statute miles. The Soyuz is traveling at about 3,350 miles an hour now. Eagle stable. There's a look at Chris Cassidy. Sitting in the left seat, Pavel Vinogradov, the commander of the Soyuz, there in the middle, just off to the right of the screen. Alexander Mazurkin, there off to the far right. These two engines are stable. We the shroud that uh, protects the Soyuz has been jettisoned. The crew can now see outside. Uh, hit fearing, separation, jettison is confirmed. Yeah, we confirmed that. Okay. Glavny, we have L5 eliminated. Hundred and ninety seconds, one nine zero. Rocket structure parameters are nominal. Concur. Everything's completely nominal up here on the spacecraft, and we feel great. Pressing on. Copy. Three minutes and 30 seconds into the flight, the crew reporting that everything is uh, going well. They feel well. The Soyuz core stage is performing as expected. The core stage of the Soyuz is 56 feet in length, 13 and a half feet in diameter, with a single engine with four fuel chambers, providing 96 tons of thrust for its three minutes and 28 seconds of operation. This stage will continue to burn until the four-minute, 43-second mark. 
The Soyuz uses what's called a hot stage technique. The third stage will ignite while the second is still burning. This is why the Soyuz has an open area in between the second and third stages. Two hundred fifty seconds. Pitch line roll control nominal. We're copying you loud and clear. Spacecraft is nominal. We feel great. Inaudible. Four minutes, 54 seconds into the flight, the core booster is separating at an altitude of 105 miles. The Soyuz is now being propelled by the single engine of the Soyuz's third stage as we take a live look inside the Mission Control Center there in Moscow. This engine is providing 30 tons of thrust and will burn for four minutes and two seconds. Three hundred twenty seconds. Three, two, zero. Rocket structure parameters are nominal. Five and a half minutes into the flight, the flight controllers continue to confirm that the rocket is behaving as expected. Everything looking good. Feel great. There you see Pavel Vinogradov in the middle. Copy that. Alexander Mazurkin there on the right hand side. Slavni, did the uh, different did the camera transition take place yet? Uh, uh, we're getting a really clear, crisp picture. Excellent. We feel great. Copy, Karate. Inaudible. Third stage engines are operating stable. Six minutes, 35 seconds into the flight, the third stage is behaving and performing as expected. Everything being reported as nominal. 400 seconds, 400. Everything's nominal. Copy you, loud and clear. Seven minutes into the flight, less than two minutes to go. Four hundred thirty seconds, four three zero. Mission nominal. Copy. Four hundred thirty seconds. Spacecraft nominal. We feel great. Copy that. Seven and a half minutes into the flight, the velocity now almost 13,500 miles an hour. Once the third stage delivers the Soyuz to orbit and the module is separated, a series of pre-programmed commands will be executed to prepare the Soyuz for orbital operations. These stored commands, called time-tagged commands, allow many of the Soyuz's systems to be automatically activated by onboard computers and precise times stored in those machines. Engine nominal, structure nominal. Eight minutes into the flight, everything going well. Copy, Glavny. Spacecraft nominal. We copy you, Karazi. Five hundred seconds. Five zero zero. Proceeding nominally. Five hundred and ten seconds, five one zero. Pitch your roll nominal. Separation. Copy regarding separation. 
Third stage separation is confirmed. The single liquid-fueled engine has shut down and dropped away at an altitude of about 125 statute miles. Yes, Mr. Popovkin, the spacecraft is in perfect shape. Congratulations on having successfully completed stage one. We're standing by to uh, have you guys come close to the station in about six hours from now. Thank you, Mr. Popovkin. We now have confirmation that the antennas and the solar arrays on the Soyuz have been deployed. This is 163 uh, Baikonur Glavny. I'm uh, handing it over to uh, MCCM Glavny. Thank you, 163. Thank you so much. We'll talk to you later. Separation has been nominal, correct? Moscow, Karate. Copy that. Separation has been nominal. Program 4 is completed. We're getting the visual. So again, Chris Cassidy, Alexander Mazurkin, Pavel Vinogradov having a fairly smooth ride up into space today. They now begin a fast track with the International Space Station now chasing down the orbiting complex, which is now up over the Pacific Ocean. The clocks here in Mission Control already counting down to docking some five hours, 38 minutes from now. Again, at the moment of liftoff, there was 1,056 uh, 1, statute miles in between the Soyuz and the International Space Station. Now there's 2,175 miles in between them, but that will go down to zero over the next five and a half hours. And the uh, bell... No. SI is 793 in the descent module, pressure, BO pressure, 817, propulsion compartment, 875, 27.54 is the time, did we pass the there? Yes. Karate, have you completed RDR out there? Inaudible. Yes, we have completed Yes, Moscow, we've uh, completed KDU repress. Karate, we're ready to take down the values for page 34. Here we go. 16-1 for 17, number 18. 16-9, number 19. 3-6-4, number 20. Zero decimal. Next. 1 and 8. 22 is 322, 23 is 325, 24 is 17 decimal 4, number 25, 16 decimal 9, number 26, 268, fuel 880. Copy. Uh, Moscow, we're still in the process of the second long uh, course test. Copy. Karate, why don't we, while we have time, go to page 39. It's got there, one, zero, zero. 
025 inaudible. Zero, zero, 025. I can confirm. Twenty-four decimal two is the burn one. Copy. And page forty. Tes kade two. O one. O five thirty-five. O one. O five thirty-five. That's what we have. Second burn. Seventeen eighteen. In order. Thirteen eighteen. Copy thirteen eighteen for burn two. That's correct. And page forty-five. Ikave. Disable time, 01 1600. 1600 for disable time, copy that. Moscow Kara 2. I've checked the uh, KSP on input panel. Values, everything is nominal the way it should be. No issues? No issues. We copy. We're adjusting the ECOV mirrors, copy, and we are monitoring. And we have finished the checkout of the first uh, set, working on two. SO pressure 7, 89, and delta is 3 millimeters. Copy. Uh, 